This is The Lies of Luck Lamora. In it, there's a prologue, 16 chapters, an epilogue, and entries in between chapters known as interludes, which serve as flashbacks to the past when the protagonist Locke and his crew were kids. Of these interludes, there are 15. The chapters themselves include multiple parts. For instance, chapter 5 contains 7 parts, with part 3 ending with Locke being taken captive by a mage, part 4 being a flashback to Locke learning about mages from his mentor and to not screw with them, and part 5 opening with him doing the exact opposite of what he was advised by insulting said mage. This is a short story called A Year and a Day in Old Theradane, which is also by Scott Lynch. It is a short story with chapters, which knowing this will be important to understanding this lesson. The chapter I wish to draw attention to is chapter 12, no. It contains a grand total of two sentences. So, what does this teach us about the question of chapter length? Simple. Chapter length is arbitrary. Chapters are a pacing tool. If you want something to read fast, you use shorter chapters. Shorter chapters make it easier for someone to complete a chapter, which the mind views as completing a task. This triggers dopamine in people's heads, which provides satisfaction to them for having accomplished a goal and thus, more likely to engage with the work. This, in turn, factors into the goal gradient hypothesis. The closer we are to achieving a goal, the more motivated we are to reach it. Short chapters make people feel like they are progressing quickly, thereby keeping up a motivation to read. There are benefits to longer chapters for those wondering about that. For instance, longer chapters are more likely to transport the reader into the world by providing longer, uninterrupted narrative flow. Furthermore, if we consider schema theory, longer chapters allow for more developed or detailed schemas in relation to the story's characters, settings, and themes. This, in turn, can lead to a richer understanding and appreciation of a narrative. This, to note, is why people often enjoy incredibly long works. Finally, it can provide a more eudemic pleasure, the type of pleasure one gets from engaging in meaningful activities that contribute to one's growth and understanding. Longer chapters can offer this through providing complex narratives that encourage deep thought and reflection. Genre consideration and medium should come into play when considering if chapters should be longer or shorter. For instance, I wouldn't recommend longer chapters in the web novel space. But if you wish to learn more about that, you'll need to ask me in the comment section of this video. I'll elaborate in greater detail what I'd recommend based on the genre and medium questions I'm asked.